My name is Mr. Meshak Gige and today we check the second example on a complex variable transformation that is the inverse that is asked in a different way. Kindly check the first example if you have not checked it out. Now, so we get to the second example, determine the image of the circle uh, z equals to 1 uh, in the w plane under the transformation 1 over z plus 2j. So again, we just start by finding the equation of the circle. So we shall have uh, z equals to 1. We say it again. This one will just be given by what? x plus y j equals to 1. So again, square x and square y, so x squared plus y squared, then the square root. Remember, this one is what we call the magnitude, so, or the absolute. So the absolute of it, or the, just the magnitude of it, uh, is given by x squared plus y squared, then the square root. Square both sides, so that you can remove the root, the square, uh, the square root. So you shall have x squared plus y squared equals to 1 squared. And 1 squared is what? 1 squared is... One. So therefore, our equation therefore of the circle is given by, by that term. Now from there, we can now come to uh, the inverse. So we shall have w equals to 1 over z plus 2j. Again, inverse them. So this to come here, this to go there. So we have z plus 2j equals to 1 over w. But what is our z? Our z is x plus y j plus 2j equals to 1 over, what is our w? u plus v, vj. So again, collect the real and imaginary terms on this side. So we shall have x is the real plus y plus 2 into bracket j equals to 1 over u plus v, vj. So remember, we shall compare the real and the real, imaginary and imaginary on both sides. But now, we have to multiply our complex number, because we have a complex number in the denominator, by the conjugate, okay? So multiply by the conjugate, uh, it is u minus vj, again u minus vj, whatever you do in the denominator is just the same in the numerator. So I can just split this one again. So, um, okay. So we shall have x plus y plus 2 into bracket j equals to this side we shall have u minus vj then u squared plus v squared. Again split this into real and imaginary. Your real part is u over u squared plus v squared. Your imaginary is negative vj over u squared plus v squared. <coughs> So now compare the real part on this side and this side, compare the imaginary and the imaginary. So your real part, you shall have x equals to u over u squared plus v, v squared. You can see that, the real and the real, right, together. Then come to the imaginary and the imaginary. So y plus 2, y plus 2 equals to negative v, u squared plus v squared, <coughs> all right? But remember, we need to make y the subject of the formula. So we take 2 to this other side. So we have y equals to negative v u squared plus v squared. This positive goes to the other side, becomes negative, negative 2. So again, we can put these two into one fraction. This one is a fraction. This one is an, a whole number. So putting them under the same uh, denominator, the LCM of this and this is just this, all right, together. And since they are not the same, we know, we just say this term multiplies this term, this term multiplies with this term. So this one is the same as saying your y will be given by negative v minus 2, then u squared plus v squared into bracket all over u squared plus v squared, all right, together. LCM is this. But since this term and this term are not the same, so this one will multiply here, this one multiply here. This one is a very simple scenario. Let's take a scenario. Let me just write it here. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 7. What is the LCM of this, uh, these two numbers? So you realize these two numbers are not the same. Are right, together? So therefore, the LCM is always a multiple of the, of the 2. So it is 20, 21. Are right, together? Now, 
3 goes here 7 times. 7 times 1, just 7. Then 7 goes here 3 times. 3 times 1, just 3. So you can see whatever we are doing here is the same as saying, since the denominators are not the same, this term multiplies here, this term multiplies here. So 7 times 1, 7. 3 times 1, 3. So that is the same, same concept that we are just applying at this particular place. So this term, we shall leave it in this form. Okay, why? Because we have a u square and a v square, and as you as you saw in the first example that we did, in our equation and expansion, somewhere along the line we have a u squared and a v squared put together. So again, and we have them in the denominator, right? So no harm. So you have your x value now given by that and y given by that. So you have u, and you have uh, you, you have your x and you have your y. Then at that point, replace your x and y in the equation. So replace x and y in uh, the equation. So in which equation? x squared plus y squared equals to, equals to 1. Right? This particular equation here. So you can say, you can call it equation 1. Okay. So therefore, Replacing your x and your y here, so we shall have your x is u, so u over u squared, sorry, u squared plus v squared into bracket squared plus, we take our y, our y is all of this, so it is negative v minus 2 u squared plus v squared into bracket then you take all over u squared plus v squared into bracket squared equals to that should give you one uh, even at this place you can also put one on the other side so you can just have it as a negative of one okay so minus one equals to minus one equals to zero now let's expand both sides i will expand sorry the the two so we know here again we shall have u squared because a power powers the, both the numerator and the denominator. So we have that. Then here we shall have u squared plus v squared. Then into bracket what? Squared. All right. Then we come at the y part. Now these are two different terms. We have negative v and we have negative 2 and the whole of this is treated as a term. So how many terms do we have in the numerator? two terms right together the first one is negative v and the other one is negative of, of uh, 2 then u squared v squared so again we shall treat it the same way we expand x plus y it is the square of the first variable plus twice the first and the second then the second squared okay now let me just bracket it so that we understand it better uh, so we have the first term is negative v negative v squared gives us v squared then we have twice the multiple of this and this so if you multiply negative v uh, negative v and negative 2 first of all that one gives you what plus 2v right together it gives you plus 2v then we have this then twice of that will give me plus 4v okay it is twice of v times this Okay, then u squared plus v squared. I hope we are together in that, up to that point. So, twice of the multiple of this and this. Then, the second term, you square it. So, the second term is the whole of this from negative 2 here. Right together, going onwards. So, square this part. So, when you square 2, it gives you positive. Eh? It gives you positive of 4. Then into bracket, this term squared also. So, shall have that. So, remember the square will apply at the 2 and will also apply in the u and v squared. Then all of that, u squared plus v squared into bracket squared because it is also squared. Then minus 1. Remember, okay, yeah, we have removed the squared. So, minus 1 equals to 0.
So we have that, then we say minus 1 equals to equals to 0. Now, so we now expand all of this. So again, um, okay, let's put all this together. We have the same LCM of these two, okay? We have the same LCM all through. So uh, we can just, let's see what, to, uh, what can be done easily. So we can combine this and this into one because they share the same LCM. Or we can just say we multiply all through by the LCM, okay? We multiply all through, actually that one will work better. So we multiply all through by the LC. We multiply all through by the LCM. And what is the LCM? Remember this one, we have three terms. We have this one, we have this one, and we have the one here. Okay? So when you multiply by the LCM, and the LCM is this. So the, our LCM is u squared plus v squared into bracket squared. Okay? That is our LCM. So the first term when you multiply it by the LCM cancels. The second term cancels, so it will only remain here. So we shall have u squared plus uh, v squared plus 4v u squared plus v squared into bracket plus 4u squared plus v squared into bracket squared then minus 1 then u squared plus v squared into bracket squared equals to equals to 0. So remember we have just eliminated our LCM there because we, multi we have multiplied everything with the LCM. So this first term just remains to be u squared. The second term remains to be the whole of this. All right. Yeah, it remains to be the whole of this. Then the second, the last term is just one multiplied by u squared, v squared, then into that squared. Then at this point again, as we said in the first example is, so squared, you'll always have a u squared and a v squared in each and every term. Do you see that? So we have it in this term, we have it in this term, we have it in this term, and we have it in that term. So uh, in this case, so what we shall do here, we just divide all through by u squared over v squared. So divide all through by u squared plus v squared in each and every, in each and every term. So we take this one take this we take this and we take that so every term has a u squared and a v squared so in the first one let me just write it u squared plus v squared into bracket so we divide that by u, u squared plus v squared we come to the second 4v u squared plus v squared into bracket u squared plus v squared again then you come to the third 4 u squared plus v squared into bracket squared divided by u squared plus v squared. Then minus 1 u squared plus v squared into bracket squared divided by u squared plus v squared. Okay. So equals to i equals to 0. So we can see these and these cancels. You remain with 1 plus these and these cancels for v now we have one here and we have two here, so we remain plus four um, u squared plus four v squared. Then you can cancel again one and one here. The reason I've opened it is because we also have another term here that has a u squared and v squared. So we'll have negative, okay? We have a negative value here. So when it opens here, we have negative u squared, negative v squared equals to equals to zero then we can now rearrange uh, we can now sub, uh, subtract we have u squared u squared v squared v squared so we can have u square four u squared minus u squared gives you three u squared we can now rearrange three u squared four v squared minus v squared plus three v squared then you have plus four v plus one equals to zero that one gives you your particular equation but remember again you can always uh, divide all through uh, for the because of the formula that you are using to get the radius and the center divide all through because uh, we don't have we don't need to have constants uh, before u squared and v squared right together then notice something here 
that every time you open up your equation the value at u squared will always be the same as the value at v squared if the two values are different then you should know you have gone a mess somewhere so this value and this value should and must always be the same so divide all through by three by three by three by three so we shall have u squared plus v squared plus four over three v plus one over three equals two equals to zero and this is the equation of the image this is the equation of the image and from that point we can now get our radius and we can now get our what we can now get our radius and our center so what we need to find is our g and our what our g and our f so we know the uh, the equation of a circle uh not at center zero zero will be given by for this image now kindly uh follow the first video the first example you'll see how this one is written in terms of x and y but in terms of u and v given by u squared plus v squared plus 2gu plus 2f uh, not y but v uh, plus c equals to what equals to zero so our center so we need to find our g and our f so 2g compares to what you have at u here but do we have a variable u no so zero therefore our g gives you zero 2f compares to what you have at at v okay you can see 2fv so where you have the, the value that you have at v gives you uh, your f so you have 4 over 3 okay 4 over 3 compares to 2f so multiply by 1 over 2 by 1 over 2 so you get your f is given by uh, 2 over is given by 2 over 3 so therefore you can get your center and your radius so therefore center is given by negative g negative of f so we can we have seen that our uh, g is zero and our f what is our f our f is two over three therefore negative two over negative two over three then radius be given by the square root of g squared plus f squared plus minus c sorry minus c so this one gives us square root of what is your g your g is zero squared plus f negative 2 over 3 squared minus uh, c what is our constant our constant is 1 over 3 our constant is 1 over 3 so you can calculate that <coughs> so we have negative 2 over 3 squared minus 1 over 3 gives us 1 over 9 gives us 1 over 9 square root and 1 over 9 square root is 1 over 3 so your radius remember although our value is although our our value for negative uh, for a root is always a positive or a, neg or a negative remember radius is a distance and that here as a distance is a scalar quantity which does not have direction so therefore it does not have a negative value so the value that you get it at uh, the value that you get you always put it in naught in positives and that is how you find inversions in complex uh, variables so thank you if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe share and also comment to as many people as possible so that we may learn and benefit from this particular lesson together so thank you see you in the next lesson